So you've built your project in React and now you want to be able to share the link with others and show your project. In this very quick and simple tutorial, we're going to go over the steps to deploy your React application. So first, what you want to do is open the project, uh, navigate to it. I'm using VS Code. You can also just, and I'll open a terminal in here, but I, um, you can also use just your computer's terminal. And if you don't see the menu selection in this tabs, you can open additional view and in the drop down, it should be one of the options. So once you have your terminal open, we are going to first run uh, build command. So we'll run build locally. That is just to test the code that would get bundled up and pushed to the deployment server to make sure that it is working same as your development version. So to do that, we use command npm run build. I think most of the cases, no matter how you create your React app, this command should work. But if you want to double check, you can go to the package.json. And in here, you can see that I created v2, I used v2 to create the React app. Uh, and for the v2, uh, the command to run this uh, build is uh, npm run build. And then to run the preview would be npm run preview. And it would be npm run start, I believe, for create React app. Okay, so now we're ready. We're gonna run npm run preview. This would start our build version on you know, the port. It will show which ports the local host 4173. I'm gonna command click and navigate to it. Here you can do a quick testing on the functionalities. The project that I show here is the one that I built for my last tutorial. So if you wanna uh, check that out, make sure to watch the video. And once you're done testing, uh, then, and it looks good, we are ready to move on to actually the deployment piece, which would be done using Vercel. Once you create an account, you can go to the dashboard and select add new and then project. Uh, it should be already linked to your GitHub account. What this will do is import the Git repositories that you have available and you can select from them if you have already added your project to the GitHub. If not, let's go over the steps. Um, so we go back to a GitHub, create new repository. We give repository a name. I'm going to name this developer portfolio, make sure the name is available. Then you can either make public or private for Vercel, doesn't matter. Both of them works for deployment and hit create repository. Then there's steps provided. GitHub provides a good documentation on how to make sure we initialize the repository and then push our code from our local machine to the GitHub. Um, so we won't need the existing repository. We're going to create a new repository using a command line. Only command we're going to skip is the first one that creates a readme file and we should already have that. So uh, let's also open the code on the left side in here and I'm going to open a terminal one more time and run git init, which initializes the git repository. Then we are going to commit the code that we have. So that would be git commit m. It could also be done from like the built-in git part in the VS code. So if you do message and git commit that pushes stages the code. We afterwards set the branch. So that would be git branch. So if we look on the left side, master was automatically set. And if we set it to M main, it would just change the branch name. Uh, okay, so now uh, we have Git, but we have not connected to our actual repository that we created. So get, that would be Git remote add origin and then the URL of your newly created repository. And finally, you push your um, committed code to the origin, so to the remote. Uh, so that would be Git push origin main. So once that is done, you can reload the GitHub just to make sure that you're able to see code here, which is the case uh, right now. So that's great. And then one, once we're done uh, initializing the GitHub piece and our code is already on the GitHub, like the final version of it, then we go back to the Vercel. As you can see, the list of repositories got updated and my new one, the developer portfolio got added. So that's perfect. Only thing we need to do here is click the import. 
it would start a new configuration page. Here we can change the name, make sure the framework is the right framework. So a double check, usually it is. I have Vit here. Um, on the left, we have the Git repository information. You, you can also take a look at that. Um, and if you have a simple React app, you don't need to add variables. So you're just gonna click this deploy button. And usually it takes about a second to a few minutes to actually get the deployment up. Congratulations, now your project is deployed. You can continue to the dashboard and there's a domain section. So it's like a bunch of links. If you uh, click this one or visit, it should take you um, to your actual URL of the deployment where you can once more just in case test it. And then, yep, it's ready to share or post uh, wherever you'd like. And thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, make sure if you find it helpful to like, and if you want to build more React projects, check out my other videos on this channel. I'll see you in the next one.